So this was an unexpected video, but given the state of the art community currently, I thought it would be helpful to reach out to some of my friends who have been doing really well in this NFT or crypto art scene as either artists or investors and ask them to give their advice when it comes to artists selling their work and marketing themselves or more specifically their brands. I asked all of them one simple question and that was, what is the biggest piece of advice you can give to creatives or artists looking to sell their work? And all of them gave really unique answers that I found extremely helpful and hopefully you find helpful as well. I'll also include timestamps and links to each artist in the description, so without wasting any more of your time, here are the biggest pieces of advice from crypto artists and investors in the scene. Starting off with my friend Etienne, who is the first person that introduced me to the industry and has seen over $75,000 in sales on Super Rare, he described his story joining the crypto art scene extremely early on and said that when he got started, he got in contact and followed a bunch of creators that have been involved in the space longer than him. And he did all of this before even considering auctioning off his first piece. His main goal was to study the industry, make those connections, and build anticipation for his first official release of crypto art after people had already gotten to know his work on Twitter. By doing this, he essentially had built his name and brand in the industry way before listing his first artwork so that when the time came, he was able to make huge sales immediately. He also ended his advice by saying to focus on your craft first and that if your art is good, collectors will find your work eventually. Moving on to a major collector, investor, and writer in the NFT space who is single-handedly elevating the industry every day, Lupify gave some extremely insightful advice saying that those looking to list their work shouldn't be too hasty or quick to sell as it shows a lack of confidence and is generally unattractive to potential buyers or investors. He includes that you should continue to make work even if you're struggling and to keep creating with passion, noting that most of the massive artists out there had to struggle to get where they are today. Up next is Eleven, an amazing up and coming artist with over 20,000 in sales and iconic work that has gotten the attention of many major investors in the space. She gave crucial advice saying to be authentic, confident, and to stay Stay true to yourself no matter what trends are going on around you. This can be really important because many artists can become infatuated with the idea of abandoning their unique style in order to follow current trends to make quick cash. While it may sound appealing at first, it can end up hurting your brand in the long run as you won't be able to attach yourself to that uniqueness that identifies who you are as an artist and what makes you recognizable as a brand. Switching back to another creator and investor, Nebula is a community manager at Rarible, one of the most popular crypto art sites currently, and he gave some great advice saying that people should avoid being pulled in by the money alone and should instead find motivation to continue improving, networking, making friends, and the main point here is overall just enjoying that journey. He also added that it took him over a month to sell his first NFT in mid-2020 and is now consistently selling work every week after months of improving and building his brand. The most important thing for for you to keep in mind is to have patience and enjoy the memories that you make along the way, otherwise you will lose motivation very quickly. Now this is one of my favorite pieces of advice and it comes from Zwist, a new but impactful artist to the scene who explains the importance of your first ever artwork and mentions that it is a major opportunity that you do not want to waste, especially if you feel like you're in a hurry because you see other people around you making sales. Your first artwork, otherwise known as your genesis piece if done correctly, can be a huge piece of history in your career and can even kickstart your entire brand. Along with many other creators in this list, she also explains that interacting with others and involving yourself in the community, as well as reaching out and even discovering collectors, is extremely important for setting your floor high as an artist. And lastly, I spoke to Matthew Vernon, head of design and co-founder at Foundation, an extremely popular invite-only crypto art website, who spoke on the importance of telling a story and getting a reaction from your audience. Whether it's the style of your work, the inspiration, the environment, or the history of yourself as a creator, all of these elements combine into a story that can completely capture the viewer. His main point is that every moment of your artistic process is an opportunity to immerse the viewer and that you should make it your goal to have them experience each and every one of those moments. He ends his advice by saying, trying to tell someone else's story is inauthentic. 
No one else can tell your story better than you. So that's what I have for today's video. Let me know if you agree with everyone's advice and if any of their ideas resonated with you or helped you understand the next steps to take as an NFT or crypto artist. Again, the timestamps and links to all of these incredible creatives are in the description. If you need to reach out to me, you can find me on Twitter or Twitch at NoActDesign, where I am live every Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.